Ghana's presidential election is on Friday, and the nation is generally looked at as an important and an influential model of democra democratic governance on the African continent. Uh, President John Dramani Mahama faces top opposition candidate Nana Akufo Addo of the New Patriotic Party and six others. Pre election polls point to a tight race. Here's VOA's Paul Cisco with a look at tomorrow's presidential and parliamentary elections. President John Dramani Mahama. He is up against opposition leader Nana Akufo-Addo of the New Patriotic Party and six others. If no one earns a 50 percent majority, a runoff election for president will be held December 28th. Last August, Ghanaians mourned the sudden loss of President John Atta Mills. He was just five months short of completing his first term in office. In a much-praised, smooth transition of power, the world watched the number two man, Vice President Mahama, assume leadership of the nation and the ruling National Democratic Party. Analysts say the December 7th vote is likely to be too close to call. Decades ago, Ghana experienced five coup d'etats and military dictatorship. The 1992 Constitution ushered in a democratic dispensation. And now, 20 years later, the West African nation is on the eve of its fifth democratic election without excessive violence or the threat of civil war. Commonwealth election monitor Baroness Valerie Amos. They wanted to show that democracy works in Ghana and I think that we really saw that. That was 2008. The more we are able to get the world to understand that Africa is a diverse continent there are good stories as well as bad stories. There are positives as well as challenges and that there is real improvement in some countries on the continent. The better it's going to be for the long-term development of the continent. President Barack Obama shined a light on Ghana's maturing democracy by visiting the nation in 2009. Oil brings great opportunities and you have been very responsible in preparing for new revenue. The primary issue in the current contest is Ghana's economy. Mahama promises improved living standards and infrastructure if returned to office. The new Patriotic Party candidate, Akufo Addo, defeated in what some observers characterized as a photo finish last time around, says Ghana needs change right now. Corruption charges have hurt both parties. Whoever wins the election, and leads Ghana for the next four years will benefit from projected oil and gas revenues. But most importantly for Ghanaians and the region, political observers say the results must be credible, reflect the will of the people, and take place in an election conducted in a fair and peaceful manner. Paul Sisko, VOA News.